Hello there, my Scorpio Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Scorpios? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, Scorpios, babies. Ah, this is your second reading. That first reading was really good, but we can't release it. <laughs> you got some really good positive things going on around you so i want you to be very very happy and positive because uh there's a lot of major shit going on in the background in your situation scorpio there is you're going to be hearing some really good news some really good news God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Scorpio collective. And Scorpios, yes, yes you are. But right now, babies, I just want you to take it easy and focus on the healing, okay? You got that sort of truth underneath you. You're going to be getting some really good news. You are. Trust me. But uh, just focus on your healing right now. Focus on your healing right now. Take it easy, some of you. Take some naps. Get your sleep. Yeah, you're definitely going to be getting some really good positive news. Uh, and you're going to be very surprised. Nine of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. Some of you definitely getting... Uh, if anything was taken from you, any money or anything like that, will definitely be returned to sender. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles here. Uh, damn, Scorpios, you got so much beautiful energy coming towards you, but there's a lot of shit that's got to kind of play out in the background. Yeah, there's a lot of shit in the background. And you have no idea, and you ain't supposed to know. Okay, you got to let this shit kind of uh, uh, do its thing. Uh... One one zero one zero five could mean something. Nine one five could mean something. Uh, September fifteenth could mean something. So some of y'all are dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, this is the shit in the background. I'm telling you, Scorpios, you all just stay positive. Stay positive. Yeah, there's going to be an ending to a situation. If anyone's trying to bring conflict to you, but you don't have to do a fucking thing. I want you out there living life, loving life, enjoying life. Uh, let things kind of take place in the background that need to occur. Because it's definitely going to be to your benefit. It's going to be to your benefit. You're going to be able to make a decision, too. And when you make this decision, you, you aren't going to have two fucking uh, fucks to give when you make it. You could definitely be walking away from a situation, person, place, or thing. Especially if you've been juggling and wondering what the fuck to do. Especially if you had some sort of emotional connection that maybe you didn't want to break. You're going to be able to walk away and not give zero fucks. Okay? And you're going to walk away the winner. So you're going to get a resolution in your situation. But there's a lot of shit in the background, y'all. Oh, Lord have mercy. You got to let that just sort of play itself out. We can't give up all the goods. Yeah. Something is definitely being looked into. And, and conflict uh, coming around. Because someone knows nine of wands that uh, shit's been found out. Shit's been discovered. That's what's stirring up this conflict. But this ain't with you. This is what's going on outside of you. This is why you're going to, a lot of you, you're going to be able to make a fucking decision if you've been juggling. And you're not going to have zero fucks to give when you walk the fuck away from this situation. 
And you will walk away uh, in Six of Wands energy. You are going to be very happy with the outcome. And you're going to be free in the sense that uh, any emotional sort of connection, what's this Ten of Swords about? Anything you were concerned with uh, is going to get taken care of. You got a lot of protection around you right now. And uh, your resolution, it like takes care of a lot of different things. Definitely watch your online accounts. You have someone on the defensive. And there's conflict around. So watch any hackers. Watch anything like that. Some of y'all watch uh, comments being made on posts. Seven of Pentacles. You got all three sevens here. Things are definitely going to go on your behalf. And it was a long time coming. But something's got to resolve itself first. And that doesn't concern you does concern your money, though. Your blessings here. You're going to be hearing some good news. And you're going to be very, um, very happy. And very, um, what's the word? Some of you, uh, you're going to be set for life. So any, uh, any, <laughs> any issues you might have had, a lot of you fake ass accounts or anything like that, uh, things are going to get resolved, but you just got to let things kind of play out the will of fortune energy. Okay. Um, and there's really nothing you can do. This is a, this is a will of fortune type moment. This is when everything's got to just sort of evolve and go the way it's meant to go. These three sevens showing up, maybe seven days, seven weeks, seven months. Mm. Yeah, look at that. We got judgment, which is 21, and we got three sevens up here. Three times seven is 21. This is going to expedite uh, your movement forward and expedite uh, a lot of good energy on your part. But you're just not going to believe what's going on in the background. Page of Cups here, Six of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. This feels like someone wanting to come back. Some of y'all could have a baby mama energy. If you're dealing with a child in a situation, maybe the baby mama moved away. That's going to work out on your part. This does feel like a baby mama's going to get caught up in some shit. 863. For some of you, this could even be involving uh, uh, fraud. Uh, guys, get a DNA test. Make sure the child is yours. Someone here could be fraudulently uh, drawing child support off of you. And the kid ain't even yours. Or doing something to get money. A lot of you have someone doing something to get money. On your behalf, because they forged your signature or your name. But they're going to get caught up in their shit. They're going to get caught up in their shit, whatever the fuck it is. And you're going to be able to walk away from this situation. That you might have been bound to. Yeah, that ace of sword. The truth is coming out in this situation. Especially dealing with the mama, baby mama energy here. 
it's like someone getting money off a child and uh it was on in in fuck shit ways it was it was done fraudulently you had a lot of fraud showing up in your reading okay yeah, Temperance Angel, you need to work on your healing, focus on your healing. Um, stay grounded. This is uh, no response right now. This is a uh, build your energy up. Keep your energy built up. Yellow irises could mean something. Maybe you're seeing yellow irises. Um, it's Temperance Angel energy. You don't have to do anything in this situation. You just wait till you get the message. Some of y'all, it's going to be a letter. Whatever was holding you up, you're going to be able to do it. Someone could be trying to block your success, so just stay mindful. This is a hurt-ass energy. So some of you, if you're dealing with a baby mama situation or baby daddy energy, take it how it resonates. Uh, they're not going to be happy they lose out. So they could try to throw up some conflict. But it's just because they're heartbroken. They don't want to see you move the fuck on. For a lot of you Scorpios. Especially when you start getting this stability. That Nine of Cups and that fucking Nine of Pentacles into the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Someone's watching you, Scorpio. But it's just really to throw conflict your way. Because they're not happy. They're out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. They ain't got shit. For some of you, if this, for any money this person got off of you, you will get it returned to you. You will get it returned to you. Whew. But there's some shit in the background you're not even going to believe. But you don't need to know about it. God's got this. A higher authority is looking into this. This is not nothing you have to fucking concern yourself with. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all mama energy, baby mama energy, baby daddy energy. You know what I mean? But this is someone that was holding on to something that was meant to be yours. There's that chariot card. Three sevens. And chariot is number seven. So you got four sevens up here. That's Archangel Michael. Ushering in that change. Page of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Someone going to a reader? I got the Ace of Wands there at the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Uh, Scorpios, this come up in y'all's last reading. Someone could be going to somebody to try to throw some hoodoo voodoo shit over on you that sort of seven of cups energy don't fall for anything right now first whoever the hell you're dealing with this feminine energy that was doing some fraud however the hell it shows up some of you it's child support fraud some of you they've just been stealing money getting loans and shit in your name they're gonna try to come back and try to get into your good graces because their shit is getting all the fuck caught up but please don't do it. Please don't do it. Uh, some of you are dealing with a karmic situation, a karmic person. you got to let shit go the way it's meant to go. They're not meant to be back in your life. If this is a person you couldn't deal with before or work with or get along with, do not bring them back in. Or you're going to get caught up in their fucking karmic bullshit. And someone's definitely got some karmic bullshit going on. All you need to know is spirits got your back. There's someone overseeing this that uh, is, is taking care of things on your behalf, Scorpios. The Lovers, Justice, and the Nine of Cups.
things are going to work out on your behalf. But you're still going to have someone throwing obstacles. The same one that's getting caught up in their shit is going to try to turn around and, and send some fuck shit energy your way. Because they know they're caught. They know they're caught. Yeah. This is a karmic situation you were meant to learn from. But if you deal with this person, you could fuck everything up. That's why you gotta leave this person alone. And you focus on your healing. What are you manifesting? Good opportunities. The Magician, the Eight of Pentacles, manifesting positive, work looking good, King of Cups with the Star card, drinking plenty of water, getting your grounding energy, this is Scorpionic energy, uh, pay no mind to the gender with this Ace of Cups. Ladies, for some of you, this could be a masculine you're dealing with that's maybe having some uh, baby mama drama. Don't let this person back into your energy. Because that will of fortune is definitely ticking away. But there's someone working on your behalf. I mean, I could be dealing with the Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. You got Archangel, uh, or Gabriel, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael's that chariot. Three times seven, right? 21. Yeah, 21. Four times seven is uh, 28. Which goes to 10, which is Will of Fortune Energy. Gabriel's blowing that horn on some fuck shit. Queen of Cups, for some of you, it's a feminine around you. Friend, family. Someone that's lived with you. Hermit mode, Virgo. The sun card, oh... Damn, for some of you, you have a partner coming towards you. Is that a relationship? The Sun card, Two of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Once this karmic situation gets taken care of, and it is a karmic situation, however the hell it shows up, it's divine timing here, so spirits got this. I think as soon as that mess clears up, some of you are going to be able to move forward, and when you start to move forward, you're going to find a good partnership, a good relationship. Masculine or feminine. But it's hidden. It's hidden now. Because this karmic situation has to play out. It has to play out. But you don't have nothing to worry about, Scorpios. Uh, temperance angel energy. Focus on you, focus on the healing, drink plenty of water, get out there, exercise if you can. Stay the fuck away from anybody uh, that you're having a karmic situation with. Anyone around you that you know isn't a very good person. This person could be wanting to come in and make amends, but it's simply because uh, their karma is getting ready to bite them in the ass. For a lot of you, it's dealing with money. It's dealing with money. The 
baby mama drama. But this person knows they've got trouble ahead, which is why they want to send trouble your way. Okay? And they could be going to someone to kind of send that illusionary shit. So stay the fuck away from karmic people in your life. Now is not the time to make amends. Some of y'all know. Masculine or feminine, you don't need that shit. Spirit removed them once. Spirit's taking care of the situation. Don't put your ass in that karmic cycle. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Because whoever the hell took from you is going to try to get in your good graces. Because they know that karmic will of fortune is ticking. And uh, they got their guards up. So, Scorpios, I love that for you guys. Trust me. Uh, don't even worry about what's going on in the background. Focus on you. Plenty of water. Rest. Get outside. Get you some fresh air. Stay grounded. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. And do the Fuck not go back to a karmic situation. Let the shit play out in the background that needs to play out. Because you're going to come out the winner in the end. Mm. Peace, love, and light, Scorpios.